Hello, hello and welcome to another update video about Solana. Yeah, as I already warned yesterday, this was likely just a corrective wave top in wave four. Uh, I put onto the chart yesterday for you a potential bullish wave count where we said, all right, look, if this really is a breakout, first of all, I need to see a break above the descending trend line to believe it. This was well defined, hopefully helped everybody. Yeah. The resistance was well defined, $20.50. It didn't break it. I think it moved to $20.60, but that is not a sustained break above resistance. It respected our resistance. It respected the descending trend line and it moved up only in three waves. I said to you, okay, if it really goes higher because it reached relevant Fibonacci extension levels, yeah. then however, it needs to hold $19.80 on the way down. Yeah. If this year was a third wave, then this year would need to be a fourth, but it's too deep. It's too low now, okay? It, it came down already to $19.70, even though you could say, oh, okay, but yeah, it's consolidating below $19.80. That was the 50% retracement level of the third wave. So it rather confirms my view that we still get another low, okay? Typical typical news fake out. Um, something we had here as well. I think, I think that was not related to news, but that was related to the Visa news apparently yesterday, partnership stuff like that. They typically result in ABC tops, in corrective wave tops, especially in a market situation as we have it right now. So the only way, the only way how it could still develop, um, how it could still develop a breakout is now in a diagonal. So I take it off the chart. Diagonals, it can always move up, right? It can, anything can always happen in these markets, but you can really only work with these roadmaps if you understand that everything is probabilistic and probabilities here did not really suggest an, a breakout yet. So it can, of course, still happen. Anything can happen, right? But we are not interested in what can happen. We are interested in what should happen because anything can happen. So we know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about everything. No, we talk about the most likely roadmap and pathway. And in this case, it seems like it's following through still to the downside. Um, typical three wave move as it seems now. Okay, if it now still breaks out of the descending trend line, it makes it only more complicated. Um, certainly wouldn't be an indication that price has bottomed, not with this structure now. This would now have to be, where, where yesterday it certainly had a chance to develop an impulse. It shows how weak the chart is, short term. Yeah, Short term still weakness, a lot of selling pressure still, and it couldn't create an impulse. So the only way it can work now would be with a diagonal, okay? And the diagonal is always messy, always difficult, can't really trust it. So it would be something to observe then first. But yeah, we, we stick to the plan. We stick to the plan. Um, idea is that this could now be the fifth wave, obviously. Sometimes it just needs that corrective rally to then dump, we'll see. Um, so if this is a fifth wave, it should follow through now. And I take that $19.50 level out that reached, that was reached anyway before. And here uh, I take that out. We don't need that dotted line anymore or dashed line. Confirmation that we're now coming down in the fifth wave. I mean, it's already giving us some indications, right? It, it for example, didn't hold the micro support. It would have needed to hold to give us some evidence that a more bullish pathway is being followed. So I think it's just sort of slowly coming down now. And um, it would now need to take a break below those two swing lows. By the way, double bottom is rarely hold. I highlighted that as well. See that here? Double bottom, triple bottom. Yeah, it did hold temporarily, but eventually they still often break. So let's see if this happens again. And $19.06 needs to break to the downside now. $20.50 still remains resistance. And the nine, yeah, $19 level remains support. We break below that level, it should send us down to the next FIP support at $18.40. But I would still ideally like to see price get to around about $17 to $17.90. That's my update about Solana. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. As a channel member, you can get access to our weekly live stream. Every Sunday we have a live stream, which is often educational. You get access to our Discord and Telegram service with chat rooms, a lot of additional content, and you can also get additional market updates if you're a gold member, plus a lot of, yeah, as I said, educational content, audio lessons, and stuff like that. Please also make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter. You can find the links in the video description. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.